again, looking at the problem set, number one is a nested root. They really want you to you know, denest it and then see if you can figure this thing out. Uh, number, uh, number two, it's another like crazy looking nesting over here. All right, now, it, it, it makes you dizzy to look at it, by the way. At least it makes me dizzy to look at it. Number three, integration problem. It says um, that we're gonna derive an identity over there. You may wanna look that up, by the way. All right, now certainly, a lot of times I'm told there's identities, but I can't remember what the identity is. I, and I know there might be an identity for that, but I, maybe I can't recall it. You look it up, and you live in interesting times, by the way, you could just simply go to your phones and say basal identity. You might be shocked how much information comes up, though, by the way. This one looks tough. And I'll tell you why it looks tough. You got the floor of a floor over here, and that's really kind of like a nested floor function. It's gonna require thinking, and hopefully as I present it to you, the thinking will be something you can do as well. These I find to be very difficult because that goes on forever, all right? But anyway, what do I do over here? Uh, number uh, one, I post a video and I go through the work, and hopefully you understand that it's really not that bad to do. I also um, use Sage, and I, I post that for you, and I want to see if what um, Sage gets and what I get are they really the same thing, by the way. Number two, again, I post a video over here. Number two, it's, um, it was work. It takes time to think. And typically what I'm trying to do is try to denest the problem, see if I can figure out what's going on over there. And, and that's, that, was, that was successfully done. And also, I asked Sage to do it. Does it get the same answer I'm getting? Yeah, it does. No surprise there, by the way. Number three, integration problem. So we'll derive this thing over here. And granted, you may look at this, whether it's in video format or written format, and say it's beyond my uh, abilities at this point. And you know the bottom line, it could be. The bottom line, it may not be. You look at it, you decide, all right? But it, it took me work to get through that, by the way. When I say work, it really does take work to get through those problems, by the way. Number four, remember I said I thought that was a difficult problem, by the way. Anyway, I go through it. I write it up, kind of write sort of like a narrative here. And you can read through that if you like. If it's helpful though, I would say if you're reading something that's not helpful, don't read it. Go on to something else, look for something more helpful. Look for something that's helping you out when you're reading it, all right? But again, I just give you a visual representation of it. This one over here, again, I felt it uh, to be a more difficult problem because of this, you know, like infinite power over here, like a power tree. And then the bottom line is I go through it and, um, you know, I get, I get something, uh, the right hand side looks nightmarish to me. But I do know the right-hand side kind of simplifies nicely, by the way, which might be surprising to you, right? But I go through that work, both in video and in typeset. And then I talk about, gee, how could you do that, all right? And again, it's done in both video format and over here. And I put an answer down for you. Thank you.